Hey, what's happening, you guys? This is your boy, Creative Do Will, your everyday creative dad. Welcome to the channel, and thank you all for tuning in. Yo, before y'all leave, consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss a thing. I got a dope video prepared for y'all. We're going to be taking a look at the Machine Plus hardware, and this technique is going to be able to apply for the Machine Plus and the MK3 because they both got built-in audio interfaces, but we're going to utilize those to sample directly into the hardware, into your computer, or or any external source utilizing the hardware. So y'all already know what time it is, man. Let's dive in and let's get creative. All right, you guys, welcome back. As you can see, I got the Machine Plus here. And the first things first is you're gonna need one of these type of cables. It is a TRS splitter cable, quarter inch, uh, that goes into a 3.8 millimeter um, jack. So you can plug in, if you got a dongle for your iPhone, you can plug in your dongle or you can plug in any type of source that takes that, that connection. So the first thing first, this is your audio interface as you would call it inside the machine hardware. So that means that you do not need a separate audio interface to actually listen back to your music and sample directly into the, the hardware and actually sample that into your computer. A lot of you guys was watching my previous videos and y'all did, y'all was like, yo, I can't get it to work because y'all was watching that in this, the machine standalone mode. So never created one for the mk3 and never created one for utilizing a software and sampling directly from the hardware into the software so i'm gonna show y'all how to set that up so first things first these first two um inputs right here are your line inputs one and two you're gonna take the quarter inch trs cable and you're gonna plug it into those two line inputs that means that whatever is coming from this signal on the iPhone is gonna go directly into the machine. You can plug up a mic, you gotta have probably phantom power uh, source or phantom power source or any type of mic to plug into it right there. That's your mic input. Then you got two outputs, your line outputs, and you got your headphones. These are very, very important because since we're utilizing this as our audio interface, you're gonna be you're gonna need to monitor the source meaning that you won't be able to hear what's coming in if you don't have either some speakers plugged up into these two bad boys right, right here or if you don't have some headphones plugged in so you got to have either or plugged in we are going to actually plug in some speakers so i can have it coming out of my speakers instead of plugging it into my headphones so now that we got that set i'm gonna show you guys some a few more steps probably like two more steps that you need to do to set it up in order to start sampling directly inside, inside the machine so let's go ahead and switch on over all right so now that we got that set up there's a few more things that we got to do uh as you can see i got native instruments support page pulled up over here and this is where you're gonna have to go to actually download the drivers like i said um the machine plus has a built-in audio interface and the mk3 has a built-in audio interface and the machine studio all have a built-in audio interface but you need to actually install drivers so you can get those uh to work on your computer your computer to recognize it as an audio interface um so this is the driver for the machine um the mk3 this is for the plus and this is for the studio i downloaded this one now i ha i don't have the mk3 but for some reason the, the driver is popping up inside of um my my machine software so i think if you if you just install the actual installers that comes with it or install machine software then it automatically installs the mk3 drivers i'm not sure i don't know all i know is that i had to install this uh machine plus driver to get the uh, machine plus um uh audio interface to pop up so once you have that installed there's going to be a link in the description so you guys can get directly to it you ain't got to go find it but whatnot so all right so once you have that installed then you want to come back over here and we're going to have to change some things in our preference to switch it from my sound card uh, to the audio drivers inside of the machine. So what you need to do is you need to come over to file, go to preferences. And once you're in preferences, you want to go over to this audio tab preference here and I already have the machine plus set the machine audio driver set up, but you want to come right here and this gives you a list of all of your audio interfaces that uh, machine is recognizing. So you can see I got the machine MK3 here, but I want to change mine to the machine plus boom. So you, you select that. Now, once you have that selected, you can go ahead and get out of here. Now you're telling machine, hey, 
all of my audio i want it to play uh coming directly from the machine so even if i'm sampling into it then it's gonna sample directly into the machine and show up on the actual software so once you got that set up then you can come over here and let's go ahead and switch this view really quick so you guys can see the machine so once i have that set up now i can actually start sampling any external source i got my iphone here and i'm gonna show you guys how to get started so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you got a group set up and then you want to go to the pad that you want to sample the source onto so these are actually like like tracks so think of them like tracks you go to the pad once you get to the pad you want to come over here to sampling now when you're in sampling this recording mode right here is going to say sync i typically don't like to use sync i use detect and what that does is uh, machine to start to actually record or pick up the volume or pick up the actual source that you're recording once it reached past a certain threshold. So I bring this threshold down right here and any audio source that goes past this threshold, well, machine will automatically start to record or sample that, that audio source. So once you have that set up, then you want to come back over here. Uh, hit this this arrow knob over to the right and in the input source you want to um, change that to you have internal external and um, external mono I, or external stereo external mono and internal uh, we're we're sampling an external stereo signal so I want to uh, set that to external stereo now you want to make sure you are input one uh left and right and you want to come back over here now this is kind of very very important a lot of y'all was hitting me up with saying d yo we can't hear the source if i'm if i'm playing it back i can't hear what is playing on my phone well i'm gonna show you guys the reason why you couldn't hear anything so let me go ahead and pull up um splice here and let's actually just pull up like some type of vinyl cut free e minor or something like that so as you can see when i press it on here it's playing but i can't hear anything that's because i'm not monitoring my Mon monitoring is saying okay i want to hear whatever comes into uh i want to monitor and hear whatever comes into the machine so we need to turn that on and when i turn that on if i press it again you guys should be able to hear what's coming directly into the machine so let me go ahead and play that again <laughs> All right, so we got that actually set up and everything is coming directly into uh, the machine. Now what we need to do is this start button right here, we need to start, hit start. And what that does is this turns red. It lets you know that it's armed and you can start to sample. It's waiting for that signal to come in and go past that threshold. So if I press it again on here, it's gonna start sampling into the machine. So let me show you guys. Boom, now I can hit stop and it actually sampled the signal into machine uh, the, on the hardware and on the actual software. See, you guys can see that it's right there on the software. So now once you have that sampled into machine, you notice that the signal, you can play it back by pressing on that pad. You notice that the signal is kind of low. So what you need to do is you need to go to this edit tab right here. Click on that, bye y'all. And then I wanna come over here to normalize. What that does is it just normalizes the signal, makes it at a higher level uh, than what it was actually originally sampled to, normalize it to like zero dB. So now what I wanna do is, I wanna get rid of this extra space right here on this side. So we got your end and your start. I wanna go to the end, cause I wanna move this end button all the way down. And these two buttons right here, this is my zoom uh, going left and right, and this is actually zooming in, so I can go left i mean right and then i'm zooming in just to get a little up oh, wrong button i'm zooming in to get a little bit closer so i can see what i'm trimming so now i need to bring that in button right there a little bit more boop i can zoom in some more let me go back over here boom and i can get it just right by doing that right there all right so once i have that set let me go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see boom now once i have that set i want to come over here to truncate let me find it truncate truncate just pretty much says hey anything uh that's before this stop this start point 
or this end point i want to cut everything on the outsides of that and keep what's in the middle so it's going to cut this part right here and keep what's in the middle so i hit apply buy out now i got my new sample on this actual um pad right here and when i push play <laughs> So it actually sampled directly into the machine and you guys can see it right here. It's actually in the software as well. So we utilize the built-in audio interface inside the machine itself to capture the audio source, any external audio source. So that is pretty much it, you guys. That is how you use the hardware built-in audio interface to sample any external source directly into the actual um, machine software utilizing the hardware. So if you guys found value in this video, then please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. I hope you guys like this video. Until next time, you guys be awesome, be creative, and don't let anybody stop y'all from doing what it is that you want to do in life. Till next time, deuces.